Okay, so in this part of the module, we're going to talk about different types of sets, such as subsets and proper sets, and equal versus equivalent sets. So let's talk about subsets and proper subsets first. Okay, first, what are the symbols that you have to remind yourself? So this is a symbol for element, diba? that means that yung x, that's an element of the set S. Kapag may dash, that means that x is not an element of S. <laughs> A, what is this one? That's the symbol for a subset. This means that A is a subset of B. A is a subset of B. This, that's not a C, ha? hindi yun C. Although that looks like a C na medyo mas flat. <laughs> okay, that's that's first. <laughs> um, let me try it again. Like this. When you have a dash, not not a subset of P. Okay, so those are symbols. How? How now is subset defined? If A and B are sets, okay, so we have two sets, A and B. Matatawag mo daw na yung A ay subset ng B or in symbols like this, A subset of B. Kung kung lamang lahat ng element na makita mo sa A ay nandun din sa B. Okay? Matatawag mo daw na yung A ay subset ng B kung lahat ng element ng A ay makikita mo din or nasa B din. I'll give you a sample later on. For example, this one. A is a subset of B since all elements of A can be found in B. So you write it like this. A is a subset of B. But sir, that actually means that B is also a subset of A since all elements of B can also be found in A. Okay? So you see it in the diagram here below. If this is B, this, this circle here is A. Both of them contains the same elements. Okay, this is another example. Dear, and then read. D-E-A-R, that can be found on both sets. So A is a sub subset of B, but B is also a subset of A. Any difference ng subset and proper, proper, <laughs> proper subset? Pag, pag naman proper subset, guys, Every element of A is in B. Lahat ng elements ng A ay nasa B pa rin. Pero yung B, meron pa siyang lamang iba. Okay? For example, every element of A is in B. But yung B, meron pa siyang lamang iba. Di ba? Meron pa siyang 4, 5, 6, all the counting numbers, and so on. So, A is a proper subset of B. But B is not a proper subset of A. Di ba? Kasi yung B, may laman siyang 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. Na wala naman sa A. And also, tatlo lang yung laman ng A. So, wala na siyang lamang iba. This is a diagram that shows that A is a proper subset of B. How do we write pala? A, ganto na lang. A is a proper subset of B. Wala siya nung horizontal line. That's, that means subset yon. But if without the horizontal line, proper subset. All of the elements of A, 1, 2, 3, ay nasa B, diba? Nasa labas, mas malaking circle yung B. But B contains 4. So, A is a proper subset of B. Remember, 4 is not in A, kaya wala siya dun sa circle ng A. Okay, this this is a true, true or false problem. But first, we have to think about the A, B, C, the sets A, B, and C. Set A is the set of all What's the Z plus? Positive integers. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Napakadami. B. B is a set of all integers, N, such that N is greater than or equal to 0. Oh, greater than or equal to 0. Greater than or equal to 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, dot, dot. But also less than or equal to 100. Equal to 100. Less than. So, hanggang 100 lang pala. Yung bilang mo dito. Set C. 
Oh yeah, na lista na niya. Is it true that B is a proper subset of A? Lahat ba ng elements ng B makita ko sa A? You know, unang first test. You know, first test natin, di ba? 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3 hanggang 100. I can, I can see it here in A. But not 0. So, already, this is false. For example naman, wala yung 0. This is now a subs proper subset because all of the elements are in A. So, pasado siya doon sa first test. And second test, yung A ay naglalaman pa ng ibang elements. O, di ba? Meron pa itong 101, 102, and so on. So, this one is false. Okay. C is a proper subset of A. C is a proper subset of A. Remember, okay, pala. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Is 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, can, be, can they all be found in A? Of course. Kasi ito ay lahat ng positive integer. So, you can be sure that these numbers are inside set A. So, this is true. Kasi, ang set A din ay naglalaman pa ng ibang numbers bukod sa 100, 200, and so on. C and B have at least one element in common. What's that element? What's the common element between B and C? Again, ano nga to? 0, 1, 2, 3... Hanggang 100. Sobra yung ellipse ko. Okay. So, 100 is the common element. C is a subset of B. C is a subset of B. Can I find all the elements of C in B? 100 is there, but not the rest. I can't find 200. 300, 400, and 500 in B. So, this is false. C is a, is a subset of C. Ah, C is a subset of itself. Okay, of course, that's true. This is true. Kung ano laman ng C, makikita mo din sa C. Ayun yung sinasabi nito. So, this is true. Any set is a subset of itself. Okay. We solve that. Which of the following statement is true? Oh, okay. Is 2 an element of the set containing 1, 2, and 3? And then this one. Is the set containing 2 an element of the set containing 1, 2, and 3? Oh, which one is true and which one is false? This is a set, diba? I can use a diagram to draw it. This is the set. Let's say this is set A containing 1, 2, and 3. Can I find 2 inside this set? Yes, so this is true. But right here, we have two sets, A and B. So this is the set containing 2. This is set A. This is the set containing 1, 2, and 3. This is set B. So, is set A an element of set B? The answer is false. Siyempre, hindi mo siya pwede maging element kasi set siya. Paano mo gagawin yun? If, you, if actually, this is a set. So, ibig sabihin, yung set na to, may kita mo dito sa loob ng set B. Meaning to say, if you write it like this, so, ang B pala ay naglalaman ng element na 1, 2, at naglalaman din siya ng element isang set. Na ang laman ng set na yun ay, sorry, 3, 2. So, there's a set within a set. Okay, so that's subset and proper subset. So, to sum it off, if all elements of A is also in B, then A is a subset of B. B is also a subset of A. Pero if letter B, if set B ay, ay meron pang ibang laman, then A is not a subset but a proper subset of A. No, A is a proper subset of B, rather. Pero hindi pwedeng balik that, di ba? B cannot be a proper subset of A. 
Okay, now we talk about equivalent or equal sets. Oh, first, definitions. Two sets are equal if they both contain the exact same elements, regardless of their order of arrangement. Parang subset pala to, no? Set A and set B are identical because both of them have the same elements. Meaning to say, equal sets are subsets as well of each other. Two sets are equivalent if both contain the exact same number of elements. So dito naman, we're not talking about the content of the set. We're talking about the number of the elements inside. If this element A contains four elements, or if this, if this set B contains four elements as well, then they are equivalent sets. Okay, which of the given sets is or are equal to set A? This is set A. Oh, alin daw dyan yung equal sa set A? Pag sinabing equal, dapat makahanap ako ng set na naglalaman din ng 1, 2, and 3 regardless of the order or how they are arranged inside. So, dapat na-figure out nyo na na C. Okay, A and C are equal sets. Which of the following sets is our equivalent to set A? Okay, right now we're talking about equivalent sets. A has three elements. Which sets, which of the following sets also has three elements? So B, C, E. Okay, they also have three elements inside of them. So sets A, B. C and E are equivalent sets. Which set is equal to set H? Uh, what is this symbol, sir? This is a symbol for empty set. Okay, the G. G ang kanyang equal. Diba? Remember, this is an ellipse or this is a brace. Braces. Pero don't have any elements inside. So that's also an empty set. Name all sets that are equivalent but not equal. Mm, okay. Set E has three elements. X, Y, Z. That's also three. Three elements. So, B and E are equivalent but not equal. E and C are also equivalent but not equal. However, A and C are both equal and equivalent sets because they contain the same elements. Diba? So, equal and equivalent sila. Are all equal sets equivalent? So, I just explained it to you. The answer the, here is yes. Okay, I think we're going to stop here. So, those are the four types of sets. Okay. I'll see you next week.